Go in. I'm washing my hands. Hi, Mr. Hoffman. How are you? Doing well, thank you. My name is Nancy. Next time I come in, I'm going to ask you my name. Okay. <laughs> I'll remember. <laughs> All right. How are you today? Fine, thank you. And yourself? I'm good. good. I'm good. So I am here to do an assessment of your head, face, and neck. All right? Okay. I'm going to start by asking a couple of questions. Um, do you smoke or chew tobacco? No, I do. Have you ever chewed tobacco? Never. Never. Okay. Any problems with um, your mouth or your face that you're aware of? No. Any no. problems with your thyroid gland, no. hyper, hypothyroidism? No. Okay. All right. So we're just going to uh, proceed then. And I'm going to start out by looking at your head and your face. So I'm looking at the shape and size of your head which is appropriate for your size of person, and we call that normal cephalic. And then I'm going to palpate your um, whole scalp here, your head, and what I'm checking for is any lumps, bumps, protrusions, indentations, anything hurt back here? You get a little, you get kind of a little massage, maybe it feels good. Yes. No, nothing hurts <laughs> all at all. right, I see nothing abnormal. And so while I'm palpating, I'm gonna put my hands right here, and I'm um, going to ask you to open and close your mouth real big. Okay, and close the temple mandibular joint. And I'm checking for any clicking or crepitus or any pain. Any pain with that? None. All right. And then <clears throat> I'm moving on to inspecting your face. And I'm looking for symmetry of the face. So when I'm looking for symmetry, I'm looking at the eyebrows, the eyes, the um, labial folds here. Okay, and the sides of the mouth. It should all be symmetrical. If there was one side of the face that was drooping, it would indicate possibly a stroke or possibly a problem with cranial nerve number seven or Bell's palsy. So we're looking for any swelling of the parotid glands on the sides of the cheeks and then put your chin up for any um, swelling right here of the salivary glands and any swelling here at the base of the neck for the thyroid gland. All right, that's good. We're going to assess the lymph nodes of the neck. So the lymph nodes of the neck, all of them in sets, you want to check them at the same time with the pads of the fingers using a circular uh, motion. So here are the pre-auricular, the post-auricular right behind the mirror, the ear. Okay, can you turn your head towards me a little bit? And then the occipital right back here on the occipital bone on both sides. The submental, right under the chin. The submandibular, okay, here's their, your jawbone, the mandibular, right under there. The jugulodigastric, right at this corner of the bone here, jugulodigastric. The superficial cervical, and then the deep cervical chain, all the way down the neck. So you notice I'm using three fingers, with the pads of the fingers, and using a circular motion. And then the um, posterior cervical, all the way back here, posterior. So here's your, here's the cervical spine, and then right here is the posterior cervical. And then the last set are the subclavicular. So here are the collarbones, and you want to put your fingers right in here. And can you shrug your shoulders up? There you go, right into that hollow right there is where you would feel those. All right, you can relax now. And lymph nodes, you should not feel at all. That would be a normal finding. If you do feel a lymph node, then you would have to assess the location, the size, the consistency, um, the shape of, of those lymph nodes. And then you would have to investigate further as to why there are enlarged lymph nodes. But it would be normal to not feel them at all. Or if you did feel it, it would be very small and soft. And then you can look straight at me, and we're going to continue with assessment of your um, range of motion of your neck. So can you put your chin up, and then put your chin down to your chest, and then turn side to side. There you go. And then put your ear to shoulder, and then your ear to your other shoulder. All right, good. So your range of motion on your neck is normal. Now we're going to check the function of cranial nerve number 11. So can you shrug your shoulders? No, no, shrug up, shrug up. There you go, against my hands. All right, good, relax. And turn your head face against my hand. Turn it against my hand. There you go, turn it against my hand. 
All right, good. That's assessing cranial nerve number 11, which is functioning normally. That concludes the assessment for head, face, and neck.